Hello there, people. This is j -Ro. Uh Today I will be doing a topic that I have talked on in the past, but I would like to kind of make an updated video on. Uh, so it'll be a little bit of a quick one as well. Basically, I will be showing how damage, if you're AFK, is pretty irrelevant. Um... So what I mean by that is, while your character is AFK, um, your actual damage dealt is far higher than what you see on screen. Your sheet damage is not nearly as important. So, to demonstrate that, I am over here at F Stilted Seekers. Uh, I currently have all three HP prayer increasing prayers on. So these monsters currently have 830 million HP. Um, and I will show you that, even though they have that much, you do not need very much at all to cap these. So, butt naked, got 45% survivability right now, we're just going to go ahead and toss spicy ribs on, and boom, we're at 100% survivability. Great. But we're barely killing anything in an hour, so let's fix that. Alright, so, going to talk on how the uh, damage talents work. So you'll see certain things have um, the little the corner looks a little bit different. Those are equipable talents and certain ones are attacks. Um, attacks give you a hidden modifier towards your AFK gains. Um, specifically there is <laughs> basically a damage modifier uh, you could say a speed modifier and then just like a, a multiplier of sorts uh, of how many kills you can get um, an hour uh, basically there's some there's three variables k d and s d is basically modifying how much damage you will deal afk k you can sort of think of the game saying that's how many uh, mobs you're killing, you know, basically how many mobs that ability hits, if that makes sense. So um, it just increases the number of mobs you can kill per hour up to an extent. Uh, K caps out at 2.2 multiplier. Um, the exact number, and, and S is basically really never used. Uh, the nitty-gritty math on it isn't all that important. All that you really need to know is you really want to max out your K multiplier, and you don't need very much points in, in any of your talents at all to do that. And your damage multiplier, um, the D, is very, very important and extremely um, beneficial. Like, I mean, you can cap these mobs with very little. Um, granted, I also have things like attacks on Simmer that will help. Um, this helps that as well. This gives a D multiplier. Um, something like All for Kill will also do that as well. So I will have an easier time of capping these mobs than someone else would. And by, what I mean by capping is basically if I can get my AFK damage to be 830 mil, the game will consider it as if I am killing the maximum number of these Stilted Seekers per hour. And if the K multiplier is also capped, then I will be um, damage capping these. Um, and if, the, if I am... <laughs> basically either have enough weapon speed or movement speed or attack speed in general um then i will be completely capped on how many of these mobs i'm killing per hour so right now we're at 52 and you can keep track of if you're capped or not via the afk screen so we're at 52 right now i'm gonna go ahead and equip indiana attack it has one point in it so it has like the minimum k and d multiplier right now 81 and then i'm going to go ahead and equip this it also has one point in it and we're at 130 so one point and in, in equipping this is more beneficial than just having two points here generally 83 see it 
barely, it doesn't even increase. You have to have multiple points. 83. So you're going to want to have as many different attacks that help AFK as possible. Uh, Multi-hit talents as well. I'll put one point in here. 167 now. And put another point over here. 193. Okay. So, huge, massive upgrade. Great. Let's go ahead and go up to 20 here. 20 here. 329. So, the damage talents, they actually scale slightly, um, like a little bit slower. But it's based on how much actual cheat damage you have because they're multiplying that number. So let's add some damage to the build. And all of a sudden you'll see it jumps tremendously. Let's uh, throw a couple points in there too. So we're at just slightly over 10 million. And we're killing a good amount per hour. Cool. All right. Now then, let's go ahead and increase these to their max. And you'll see just how beneficial they become. 2,000. Um, 2,238. So let's go ahead and put five points here. 2,395. Let's go up to 50 here. 2,897. And you'll see it's a combination of both having high sheet damage but with the, uh, the multipliers that these talents give. Um, so you'll want to, early on when you're low on points, you want to mix and match. Um, you'll want like, you know, 50 points or like 75 points here um, in your damage percent talents or your weapon power talents. And then you'll want to max out your... Um, uh, damaging talents, um, or your uh, damage skills, excuse me. Um, Multi-hit in general is on par with any of the um, uh, damaging skills, and if you have enough damaging skills, it, it can actually be more beneficial. Um, something for like the the hunter, for instance. It's the the triple shot on it is actually insane towards um, AFK damage multiplier. So, so we're getting to twenty nine eighty four. Let's go ahead and max out the damage talents. Thirty eight sixty. Thirty eight sixty. All right, so let's go ahead and equip some gloves just to get a little bit of damage in. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that for now because I want to be damage capped but not speed capped to demonstrate that. So, um, so let's go ahead and fill out this build. Let's add some more damage where we can. Um, 4698, where are we at? Toss that on, 49.60, so we have more damage that we can add. Um, where's an easy place to do so? Um, crit, per, uh, crit percent and crit damage as well also increase. So 46.98, let's go ahead and toss that. 52.48, see, it's actually quite beneficial. So we're at 52.48. Let's go ahead and toss that on. 55.05. So we still got room to grow. Um, actually, I'm going to go to this blank preset. Um, 40, 45, 42.43. I don't want cards to influence it yet. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and put this scarf on for a little bit of damage. Um, 
And you'll also notice that speed helps as well. 41, 15, because I'm currently not speed capping. Um, 4174. Uh, speed is less relevant than weapon speed. You'll want attack speed. Weapon speed is the most important, then attack speed bonuses, and then movement speed um, in that order. Um, but right now we're, ha we're lacking sheet damage, so... Trying to do it without using the weapon, but we might not be able to uh, cap them without it. Well, maybe if I use cards. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're at 4184. Let's go ahead and toss that on. 4384. Let's go ahead and toss this one on. 4436. It's really difficult to damage cap. Uh, there we go, 4436. That should be capped. Yep. Okay, so you'll know you're capped because I just added more damage. My damage went up, but I did not get any more kills per hour. So I am damage capped now. Woohoo! But let's toss a, a speed card on. 4436. Oh, well, we actually are speed capped um, as well. 4384... 4384. Oh, wow. We're speed capping even just base? That's crazy. Let's try this. Uh, 4436. Yep. Uh, yeah. So. Wow. Even just base, we're just speed capping them. That's kind of crazy now. Um, anywho, 4436 should be damage capped so we can toss on more damage nothing happens wonderful um the and, and we know we're speed capped as well because if we toss on movement speed pot you'll see that the number hasn't gone up now i am damage capping eight and speed capping 830 million mob 830 million hp mobs with around 38 mil. Um, can do it with slightly less. It's a little harder without the 4436. And toss this on. 4436, yeah. So literally just that. Uh, 44, yeah, so. Roughly 38 million max damage. Um, and technically it's not max damage. It's the, it's the average damage ideal. So, you know, whatever the midpoint of that is, um, that is what's going primarily into the calculation. So, uh, for instance, uh, 4376, uh, mastery will actually help that as well. 4436, see? Barely increasing my damage range, but yeah, here we go. This one's a little bit better. But still, uh, it increases my minimum damage, so... Boom, bam, we are, we are damage capped again. So at 36 million damage, we are damage capping them on a Maestro. Maestro has the lowest AFK damage modifier. So I know this has been pretty technical, but I've just been trying to show the huge effect that damage gets inflated AFK. Um, granted, there are other modifiers like I pointed out like attacks on simmer the alchemy bubble various other ones i'm probably not thinking of so if you're early on starting out you won't have quite as easy of a time but if you are afk damage is practically irrelevant um if i had actual gear on i was trying to do this to show just how little like just i mean only talents got me there basically and this is with triple HP prayers. If you're if you're not using any HP prayers at all, it, it, you could have like less than a mil damage and damage cap the hardest mob in the game currently. Um, so hopefully this was a good demonstration on how crazy AFK damage goes. Um, you don't get to see it. Uh, there's no you know in-game easy representation of what your damage modifier is, but it is quite strong of an effect, as I 
pretty clearly demonstrated. So, you, and also uh, weapon speed plays a huge part. So we're at forty one ninety eight. Just putting the weapon on, yeah, we go uh, back to thirty six mil, which is about the damage cap. But uh, weapon speed really makes damage capping like for the higher weapon speeds trivial. So whenever you can upgrade your weapon, it, it is very helpful. Uh, especially if the upgrade gives you into the next speed tier, if you will. So like, uh, this is quick, this is quick, but this is medium. Going from uh, going from Enforced Slasher to the Icebreaker, not that great. Going from Icebreaker to Deus Scythe, insane. It's a huge, huge jump. But going from Deus Scythe to Slim Sharp Fin, eh, it's okay. It's not that great. Going from Slim Sharp Fin to the diabolical flesh insane huge jumps so weapon speed very very important um but most of all just you're gonna want to really pump the um the damage talents the the damaging skills for afk gains now sheet damage it does matter if you're active i would if i were actively killing these things i would need tons more but I just want to say, like, you have nine, like, so if right now there's ten characters in the game, nine of your characters are going to be AFK. I mean, if you're in World 4, you know, six of them are probably going to be sitting in lab. But early on through the game, World 1, World 2, World 3, you can push maps way, way easier if you're just uh, AFK. Yeah, active gains are going to be great, but you're probably not going to be focusing on active play until... I would say late game or end game. Uh, trying to focus active play early on is inefficient, in my opinion. You can make way more progress AFK. Um, I know that sounds counterproductive because everyone says how crazy a uh, active gains are, and they are. But if you don't have a character that can do it easily, eh, I wouldn't recommend trying to push it. Just push new maps so you can get higher XP gains to then have a high-level character that can active farm for you. Um, so hopefully this helps. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate that like it's way easier to cap than you think, and don't worry about damage too much. It is not that important. And also, make use of the AFK screen to make sure that you're damage capped. Uh, if I were to take this food off, for instance, uh, you'll see how much kills per hour I lose. Um, I did talk most like uh, how food works at AFK in another video, so you can check that one out too. But basically, food is also ridiculous towards AFK. So if you just put food on and you put damage talents on and you have moderate stats, you can AFK the, the, the hardest mob of the game for free. So anyway, hope that helped. I will try to keep it short there before I start rambling on some more. Um, if any questions below, just toss them in the comments. Um, and yeah, hopefully this helps. This is geared more towards newer players. So anyway, have a good one.